Here we are on back of the net, and it's a brand new funnel forecast. And the cross by Heffernan, and was that a foul? It's a goal anyway from funnel, from funnel, from funnel. Hello, and welcome back again for the funnel forecast. And I am joined once more by the man, the myth, the legend, Tony Funnel. How are you doing, Tony? Very well. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, the weather, Tony's taking a turn. How do you feel about that? Don't like, I like the sun better. Yeah, yeah. Any any plans? To, I suppose you can't. I know, Tony. You like to you like to go and find some sun around the world, don't you? When you can. <laughs> yeah, I've got to be careful at the moment. You can't go away. No, you can't, can you? Yeah. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Well, you know, on to other things. Uh, thinking less about the future, Tony. I thought we'd have a little chat about the past to kick off our show today. Uh, and I believe you've uh, sent in some more pictures that we can have a look at. Yeah. This is pretty good. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? So Hampton, Portsmouth, Chelsea, yeah. West Ham. What it was, when I was a youngster, I lived in between Eastbourne and Brighton in a little town called Seaford. And uh, you never got a scout there. There was no scouts there. And uh, I used to write away to pro clubs and ask for a trial. So... I was about 14, 15, and uh, my parents used to drive me up to like Chelsea or West Ham. And uh, sometimes I'd go back up there you know, two or three times over a period. But um, unfortunately, I um, it never went any further than that. And then um, I just carried on playing for Eastbourne United, non-league football. And then... Um, what happened was, when I was sort of 18 years old, nearly 19, um, I had played for Sussex boys, Sussex youth and Sussex men. And um, one of the coaches that had gone through those stages, he'd become a Southampton scout. Ah. Yeah. And uh, he arranged for Southampton to send a scout to come and watch me. And uh, the guy come along and watched a game and uh, said, said no. Uh, but luckily for me, um, the guy who was the coach at Sussex, his name was Dennis Proby, he, um, he asked me if they'd send someone else to another game. The second scout come along and said, yeah, we'll have him down. And I went down for a two-week trial. And uh, so I was lucky, really, because it all went on the first one. And I, I do remember the uh, I went down for my two weeks. I think I scored in uh, the very first game against Chelsea. And uh, when it come to the two weeks to be ending, there was one more game at the end of the two weeks. And uh, I was probably a little bit nervous because I wanted to know if they'd sign me or not. And, you know, no one had said anything. And uh, Peter Rodriguez, do you know that name? He lifted the FA Cup for Southampton. Yeah, yeah, I have heard yeah. that name. Well, Pedro, we called him. He was the captain. And uh, he came up to me in the dressing room before the game and said, uh, don't worry, just go out and enjoy yourself because you've done enough for them to sign you. And they did sign me after the game. Wow. So, that's yeah. a lovely story. Oh, look at that. That's actually, that's the, that's the papers the day after you signed, I guess, or near enough. Well, yeah, the weeks after I signed, yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. And and how did you know, how did you, um, was it, you know, on fire straight away, Tony, or what not? Um, yeah, I, I was lucky. There was a real good bunch of lads uh, at Southampton. And um, I just went in. I say, I think my first game was against Chelsea and I scored. Uh and I enjoyed the training. I was I was raw and I, I was so fit and you know yeah. I, I, well, obviously done well because they did sign me up. Yeah. But um, I actually I owe everything really to uh, Dennis, the coach, who arranged and sorted it all out. Because um, I wouldn't have got there without him. Without him, I'd have been still playing non-league football. And then. Um, Later on in my career, 
unfortunately, I found out that uh, he was very ill and he was in a home. So uh, I managed to go and see him in this home. And uh, unfortunately, he had Alzheimer's disease. Mm. And um, I went to visit him and I was there for a couple of hours. And we talked about football all the time. And during that time we were talking, he, uh, he was mentioning Tony Funnel and what I'd done at Southampton and how that he got me down there and I was his first and his most successful signing for Southampton. And it was very spooky because he was saying all that to me and he didn't know it was me who he was talking to. Yeah. You know, it was, it was a strange feeling, but, you know, I'm glad I did go and see him. But, you know, it's, it's so weird talking to someone who doesn't know who you are and they're talking about you. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's the story so far. And maybe we'll have some more next week. Yeah, I'd love week, that. Next week, I think we'll be, obviously, I'll be um, playing for Saints Preserve, so we'll have some stories about that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you, Tony. I really enjoyed that. And um, <clears throat> very touching as well. Very touching story. And uh, yeah, it's really lovely to hear. Um, and lovely to hear that you you kept in contact with that person enough to know, you know, found out where they were. And, you know, uh, you, you get, you meet a lot of people, don't you, through your life and then through football. <clears throat> and it's, you know, it's lovely to be able to go back and thank them for what they've done. Oh, yeah. You know? I, I always appreciated what he'd done. And, uh, I mean, so you can't keep in touch with everyone. You do, you know, because yeah. back in those days, you didn't have mobile phones. It was only the house phone. But obviously, through me playing for Sussex through the years, uh, I think his wife found out how to get hold of me, you know, and uh, that's how I found out initially. So, yeah. Yeah. But say, that's the luck you need sometimes, isn't it? If if he hadn't have pushed for a second person to go and see me, yeah, I wouldn't have signed for Southampton. No, and I've been it, it, those um, initial uh, trial letters. There was one from Southampton. I'd been down there when I was fifteen, and nothing happened. I wasn't. They didn't think I was good enough. So. Look at that. Look at funny that. old game. It's a funny old game. Yeah. Uh, speaking of funny old games, Tony, uh, Bournemouth got a one-all draw with Borough the other week. Uh, they they looked uh, reasonably uh, strong for periods, but weak in others. And Borough got their way back into the game. Um, but Tyndall still not lost a game, a competitive game. What do you think about no, that, Tony? That's very good, yeah. I mean, I... Um... I haven't watched a game. Uh, I haven't watched any Bournemouth game so far this season. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're getting some good results. And you did hear it first from me last week, because when you introduced the Bournemouth game, I did say all week I've been saying one all. You did. And, and then, then what did you do, Tony? What did you do? For the Super Six, I said, no, Bournemouth will win 2-1. 2-1, Tony. So I was... I could have had me five points. You could have. And that, I think, would have made a difference to the league table. Should we have a little have a little look and see how the league table's going? Yeah, maybe have a look at the top. Don't go down too far to find <laughs> me. Now, at the top there, wow, we got a new leader. Sorry, Louis. Uh, it's uh, Alessandro Linford. I should put the glasses on for this. Well, uh, well done, Alessandro. I hope you're watching the show. Big thumbs up to you. Uh, that's fantastic. A bit of movement there. How many points has he got? 23 points. Wowza. Okay, that's a pretty good... Look, four results and three yeah. scores. That's good. That's a big boy one, isn't it? That's, as you say, Tony, from the big boy league. It certainly is. And yeah, three position. correct scores is good as well. Because um, we, I was talking to Sam earlier and we said maybe we could give a prize to someone who got like five out of six correct scores. Yeah. Because it takes some doing. Yeah. And if anyone gets six out of six, you can give us a prize, please. Just uh, don't forget. Us. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and you, you there, Tony, I think you were in position like 48. So, you know, you're not, not bottom of the table, not well, top of the table, but a, a couple of wins, correct results. 
and you're back up there. Yeah, yeah. Just need one good Saturday. And speaking of one good Saturday, we've got our games in here. Now, I've not looked this week to see what they are. So this is, this is exciting stuff. So we're going to kick off with a Premier League fixture, Tony. We've got Crystal Palace against Everton. Yeah, this game I'm going to go... Well, Everton started off really well, so I'm going to stick with Everton and go 3-1 to Everton. Yeah, they look really good, don't they? People are saying, you know, Merseyside's, Merseyside's looking a little bit more balanced this season. So on, on players, you know, you look at the quality of the squads. There are some players in Everton who, you know, are looking pretty good. Oh, yeah, and a, and a quality manager. Yeah, it makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, and then we're into uh, back to the championship. Hey, best league in the world. <laughs> we got, uh, <laughs> Watford against Luton. They're not too far away from each other, are they, Tony? No, uh, Luton have been playing well. So I am going to go for Luton. Ooh. And I'm going for 2-1 to Luton. Interesting. 2-1, Tony. Okay. But actually, we should have... Um, some little medals drawn up, 2-1 Tony or something, shouldn't we? Yeah. It is my favourite score. It is your favourite <laughs> score. I wonder if it's the most popular score line. I don't know. We'll have to we'll do some research. Uh, it's interesting not... what, the, what the most popular score line is. Pop... Well, let's hope I it's reckon not it nil, could nil. be 2-1. I reckon it could be 2-1. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Uh, then we got uh, Millwall against Brentford. Oh, that's a tasty game. Yeah, Brentford are coming back to form, aren't they? Um, mm. They've had some good recent results. I'm going for 2 0 Brentford. Fantastic. Okay. QPR against Middlesbrough. Now, Middlesbrough, we just talked about earlier, didn't we? They, they got a 1 1 with Bournemouth. Yeah. Uh, how will they fare against QPR, who um, they had a few financial problems a few years ago, didn't they, Tony? Yeah. And they, they have, I think they've lost some strikers, but hmm. I'm going to go 2 1 QPR. Okay. Lots of two ones. You didn't know oh, it's got to be a. You have to be something else somewhere. The selections haven't finished yet, Tony. Don't worry no, about very that. True. Very true. Ah, now that's an interesting fixture. That's up in the north there. Derby against Blackburn. Um, Derby. We said last week, didn't we, Tone? Uh, what did you go with last week for Derby? Was it a loss? Yes, I did. Mm. And I'm going to go for a loss this week. Oh, okay. I think Derby will score. Derby will score, so we can put one there. Yeah. And I'm going... <laughs> two, by any chance? Two to Blackburn. <laughs> <laughs> so, Fair enough. I, I, it is my aim to make 2-1 the highest score in Super yeah. 6, the most popular one, definitely. The most popular one. Well, I'll get on the phone to all these clubs and just let, remind them what you've gone for. Uh, then we've got uh, Cardiff against Reading, another championship game, Tony. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going for a Reading win. Mm. Uh, is it yourself putting the scores in or Sam? Sam's doing it. My Sam, fingers are free. I'm picking Reading to win. Sam, you put the score line down for me. You know what I'm going to pick. Correct. Yeah, well <laughs> <clears throat> we got quick fingered Sam there. He knew exactly what to do. And that's it. That's our six. But we've still got to do the last piece of the puzzle, yeah. Tony. What is the I'm going lucky number? seven this week? Lucky, lucky seven. Because it is your lucky number, isn't it, Tony? That's correct. Yeah. Lucky seven. Good. Going head together. We're submitting our entry. And we're in. That's it. All submitted. It all looks so easy, doesn't it? It all looks so easy, and you can do it too. All you've got to do is join our league, if you haven't already. I know lots of you have, um, and the code will flash up at the bottom. Uh, and they all do is go onto the Super 6 app or website and enter that code in to join our league. Uh, before we get uh, and say our goodbyes to each other, Tony, for another week, um, Bournemouth are playing Norwich this weekend, and Norwich have bought a lot of players how do you think that works you know, at football clubs when, when you get a lot of players in? Does it have an effect? Is it always positive? Is it sometimes negative? What, what, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, it can be difficult settling the players in. But um, I've seen some clips of Norwich and uh, they seem to be playing some good attacking football. Mm. And uh, I'm sure Bournemouth will. So 
I can see goals coming on Saturday and uh, both teams attacking. So it, it's a pity there's not crowds in the stadium because it'd be a good game to watch. Yeah, I think you are right, Tony. And Bournemouth have started the season with a kind of 3-4-3 three, three formation. So, that you know, Jason Tindall's thoughts are obviously to attack and to score goals. Um, do you think that will continue through the season? Do you think that's... Do you think that will get a team promotion going going that gun ho? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there probably will be times when they've got to change their formation during the season, but uh, more so at home, they'll uh, they'll attack and yeah, fingers crossed it carries on doing well. Fingers crossed, and fingers crossed, Tony, that you and I get to see each other at a game sometime at Vitality. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, right. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Ooh. Keep your ears and your eyes peeled. Right, well, that's it from us today. Thank you so much, Tony Funnel. Lovely. Cheers. And thank you so much, all of you, for watching. Adios. Good.